Hi everybody and welcome back to Northwestern Models TV and today I'm going to show you how to build up this small greenhouse kit in double O gauge from Ancorta Models. So, let's get started. So, as always, let's uh, get the packet open and see what we've got inside. It all wants to come out. There we go. Let's have a feel out the back. Right, so we've got a fret uh, of laser cut uh, wooden parts. Um, yeah, so we've obviously got uh, the back, the front, the door, the sides, the roof, and some other parts as well. We also have a sheet of window glazing uh, with the parts um, cut on there, ready to be cut out to obviously be stuck on for the glass. So I'll just pop that to one side where I can see it. Um, which I think was up that uh, blank piece of paper as well. Um, obviously we've got some instructions which uh, you know, have everything we should need to be able to do on there and additionally obviously we've got the, the main packaging piece so we don't really need that. So, um, having never built one of these before, let's. Uh, it's always worthwhile having a quick read through the instructions uh, so that you know exactly what you're doing at the right time um, and you, know, you can just build it up as such. So. Right, so actually it suggests to um, cut the uh, main pieces out and do all the painting for them first. But I'm actually going to paint this um, afterwards, I think, um, as I may just leave it built up how it comes out of the kit. Um, I'm a bit undecided on that. So we, let's just get it built up and like, like I said, you can always paint it afterwards. So. <clears throat> So parts one to six and the door, and all the parts are labelled on the fret, and so you can see them. And it's a case of just going around very carefully with a craft knife and just finding where the part attaches to the fret, and just very carefully just nibbling through. It might take a couple of passes. Don't try and do it all in one go um, to get the individual parts out. Obviously, when cutting through, do watch your fingers. Um, and just it, too, it is easier just to do more cuts just by keeping on going over it rather than trying to do it in one go. Um, if you do it in one go and, and your fingers slips, that could be a, a small trip to A and E, or if you're lucky, just a little plaster. That's the, the two sides, the front and the back cut out, and now it's just the, uh, the roof sections to do. Just take your time with it, there's no rush to build it. Yeah, just Take time and enjoy the actual build of it all. It's supposed to be a hobby, so it should be just taking your time to enjoy it. So for now, I'm just going to put the fret to one side because we don't need it just yet. So 
what I'm going to do now that we've cut all the little fret pieces out um, where the little notches were that we've just cut through I'm just going to very quickly run a needle file over them and you could use a little bit of sandpaper um, but I think the needle file works just as well and all, this, all I'm doing is just making sure that the edges are nice and smooth and flat so that there's no high spots because this will allow the kit to go together uh, a lot nicer um, because there's not going to be any sort of gaps and things in it that we don't want. You don't need to go mad with it, just take your time and just get them down. Of course if you take your time you've got a little bit more control with it because uh, these are quite fiddly because uh, they are quite fragile some of these parts. Obviously it's a greenhouse so there's not there's a bit of strength in there, there's not a vast majority of it in there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it does say once you've cut them out to give them a coat of paint. Um, so I'm just quickly reading through further down just to see um, which parts you know, would need painting. Was it, if it is worthwhile painting it before we go too much further. Um, the next uh, part is to release the benching part, which is 7, 8, 9 and 10, which are the little bench parts which go around on the inside of the greenhouse to put the pots and plants and things on. Uh, so I think it is a case of um, cut those out, tidy them up, paint everything and then we can start moving on. So that is what I'll do. I'll cut the other parts out that we need uh, out of the fret get all the bits painted and then we can start actually looking at getting it all assembled. Right then, so I've now got all my various parts um, painted in a very quick uh, livery. Uh, where I've gone over a few bits on the red, um, I will be able to touch that up later. The main thing was to get the white uh, wooden framework made up for the um, for the actual window frame for the actual main part of the greenhouse uh, to get that made up uh, so we can get the glazing in and it all looks better uh, fully painted up. So now we can actually start getting on with the build and naturally the first part is to fit the glazing. So on the glazing sheet, um, and they probably can't see it particularly well from there so let's put the card behind it. Um, each part is relatively obvious and they are also labelled up I'm going to suggest that when you cut each part out, you fix it to that part straight away. That way you don't get confused between like the sides and the roof, for instance. Those are really the main two ones to be confused by. Um, but go through, glue all those on, and then you should be able to start building it up. Do take a note of uh, what it says in the instructions as well at this point, in that uh, the glazing on parts on the side parts three and four, which are these parts here, uh, it is a little bit shorter so that when you come to assemble the building, the ends fit inside the side pieces. So it is a little bit shorter. So you make sure you watch out for that and don't think, oh, I've, I've cut it too short. You haven't, don't worry about it. So I'll cut these out, glue them on, and then we can start looking at getting it actually assembled. 
Right, so now that we've uh, got the parts basically painted, we've also got the, the glazing in them now, which hopefully you can sort of see shining a bit there. Um, now I fitted the glazing in with the glue that we're going to use today, which is the Rocket Card Glue from Deluxe Materials. Uh, you could use uh, glue and glaze for the glazing, um, but the Rocket Card Glue does exactly the same job. Um, so, you know, I, as I'm using one glue for it, I thought I'll just use it for the whole kit because it just it just made a bit more sense. So now we can start actually looking at putting it together. Um, and as always, just follow the instructions because um, it makes life a lot easier if you do. Um, basically, it's the, the idea is that we fit the end pieces um, to the inside of the side pieces, so they'll go in that way rather than the side going on to the ends. It needs to be that way around. So that is what we're going to do. And all I'm going to do is put a very thin layer of glue down. Well, I'm going to put it down one edge of the end, end piece um, because that's where you know, the glue needs to be, we know it's going to be in the right place and it doesn't need a lot, just a nice thin bead of glue down there and then holding the pieces upright I'm just going to literally put them together and then just hold them in place just while the glue sort of grabs. And now I've got one side essentially done and I'm going to do the same with the other side so that we make up the square, making sure I get them assembled in the same way so that when we turn them around and put them together they're going to you know, fit together as a one, one whole unit. Um, A bit of glue on there. Let's do the same. Nice bubbles. With the uh, Rocket Card Glue, it is it's ideal for laser cut kits like this because it's relatively quick drying, it's strong, it dries relatively clear as well. So for bits of glazing and so on, it's you know pretty good for that. Um, and you know it's just a generally good or a good all-round glue to use. Um, so if you can um, try and make sure that you use something. Like that. I mean, you could use something like Yuhu to assemble this, um, and it would probably work pretty well. But it does for me personally. It tends to be a little bit too stringy, and I'm not the world's biggest fan of it. I prefer to use something a little bit neater that's that I know is going to do the job just as good. Um, so while we're waiting for those bits to dry we can fit the legs to the benches, to the underside of the benches, uh, at least the side ones. I'm not going to fit one any to the end one, which is the smaller one of the three uh, benches because having read the instructions it does say it may need a little bit uh, taking off it. So I thought I'll leave that one for now and then, you know, if we need to take any off it, it's easy to take it off without having, you know, an extra foot in the way on it. Um, and just get the others in place. And this, of course, is the joy of having everything else um, already cut out and painted, ready to go together. Um, is that you can start making little sub assemblies like this um, a lot easier and just you know have them to one side while the glue goes off and like I said because this glue is pretty quick drying it uh, won't we won't need a vast amount of time uh, to start putting the bits together and I'm just using a small pair of pliers just to make handling these little feet a little bit easier because you know, they are quite fiddly um, and because we've been using a, I've been using a bit of glue um, my fingers although they're clean they're 
might be a little bit of stickiness on it and it could just make things a little bit uh, unnecessarily awkward so I don't want to make things awkward if I don't have to. So if you've got a good pair of uh, little pliers like that or some tweezers they're ideal to sort of help you along. So uh, reading it through the instructions, um, yep, so once the two halves of this are dry um, they need to be glued together. So as you can see they are now basically dry. They are probably still a bit of play in there so I'm not going to say that they are perfectly dry um, but they're going to be dry enough for us to do what we need to do if the glue wants to hurry up. We need to put a little bit of glue on that one and the same on this one and then we're going to stick them together in the same way making sure that the ends the end pieces go into the side pieces and because this uh, cutting mat has a nice square grid on it I can use that to make sure that it all goes together nice and square which is quite useful um, and then we can just sort of hopefully be able to leave that for a minute or so just while the glue goes off um, like that. The next task is actually to fit the benches in um, but like I said I'm going to leave that to set for a minute or so um, just to make sure the glue's gone off because we're going to be fiddling about trying to get the benches in and I want to make sure that they go in relatively easily without the whole building falling apart or anything so the longer it has to allow the glue to dry the better it's going to be and there's no sort of, doesn't really give any instructions of how to fit the benches into it um, apart from the, the photo that's on there uh, which basically just gives you the layout it doesn't actually say how it's best to put it in but I have a feeling it's going to probably be to put the uh, greenhouse on its side and then slot it in from underneath uh, and then glue all around the inside and then do the same for the other side well I'll, to be honest that is the way I'm looking at doing it anyway so now that seems to be holding together and treat it carefully because obviously it's the glue is still going off a tad um, and what I'm going to do is with my little pliers I'm just going to do a little dry run to see how easily it goes in and to be honest it's actually quite easy to get that in there so that should be pretty good so once I've got it there I may as well glue it in And making sure that the bottom of the uh, feet of the benches is in line with the bottom of the um, greenhouse itself. Just put a little bit of pressure in just to allow the glue to grab. And whilst I can get in there, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of extra glue into the corners just to help add a little bit of additional strength uh, to the greenhouse overall. Yeah, while it's easy to see, I think it's worthwhile getting the glue in there just to just to help it. It won't do any harm, so may as well yeah. do so. So I'll let that dry and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the same with the other side. So I've just flipped it over, I'm ready to stick the other bench in. So 
Let's have a quick go with that. Hopefully once we've got this one in, we should then just be left with one more um, bench to go in, which is the one that goes across the end. That's looking pretty good. Yep, and again I'm just going to put an extra bit of glue in the corners to help it give a bit of strength to it. Because again, as I said before, there's just no harm in not doing and you think, well, you may as well do. Admittedly, obviously, once it's sort of stuck down on your layout in the area that you want it to be in, it's going to be in there and it's going to be pretty, you know, it's not going to be going anywhere fast. So, you'll be alright with it. But uh, I do personally think it's a very worthwhile job just giving it that extra little bit uh, of uh, strength because you can so you may as well do. Right, now then, I'm going to use some tweezers for this just to see if we do need to trim anything off this centre bench, which we do we need to trim quite a wedge off actually. So. To trim it back, I'm just going to use a craft knife. I sort of mentally noted where it needed trimming back, and it was quite a bit, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, considering this is a laser cut kit, I thought it might be uh, might not need any trimming, but it does. But as you can see, this is why I haven't put the um, the leg on it yet because you know I want to you know, make sure it goes in first and to cut it with a leg on at the moment would be very 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 difficult to make it a lot more awkward than it is. Currently. There we go. That's a few passes with the knife. That should be okay, so let's see if that goes in the gap now. Which it will do. Yep. So now I can see about fitting uh, the little leg to the bottom of it um, before we pop it in to the greenhouse itself. And again that means we're going to be able to get everything at the right height nice and easily. So I'll let that dry for a minute and then we'll see about popping that in and we're very nearly getting there. Right, so here we go, last bench to go in. So let's get the glue on. Always just take your time with it. There's no, there is no rush with it. Once it's in, you know it is then in. And that, to be fair, is probably the fiddliest of the of all the benches because of its uh, small size. And again, just going to chuck a little bit of glue, extra glue in there, just to give it something a little bit more, just to grab it in there. So, the next job, um, uh, once you've finished the putting the benches in, um, you know, the, the roof panels, it says the roof panels can go on and the door can go on. Now, once you know the, bit, the bench parts have dried, I would say before you fit the roof panels, if you wanted to fit some plants um, or something, and we do sell a range of 
suitable uh, different plants to go in there, both in N-Gage and Double Oak. N-Gage ones might be better for inside the greenhouse because they're naturally a little bit smaller. Um, you know, this would you know, this would be the time to fit them um, before you put them onto the layout itself. Um, you know, purely because you can you know, can get into the top uh, a lot easier. So let's see about now. I'm obviously I'm not going to be fitting any plants to it because I need to show this as a demonstration of how the kit is made up. Um, so I'm going to fit the roof panels um, first and then fit the door at the end because I think fitting the roof is going to be uh, able to give the whole building a bit of strength that it does still need as it is like like a proper greenhouse it is quite flimsy so it needs the additional bits of strength wherever it can get it So let's see about do one on one side. There we go. And it's important to remember that you're going to need to make sure that the glass in the roof does match up at the top for the apex, um, so that it does, you know, as I said, doesn't well, it won't seal the roof obviously, but so that. If it was built in real life, it would seal the roof up as well. You know, so make sure you get it in the right place. Like I say, this will provide ultimately the the best bit of strength for the greenhouse as a whole because it's you know it's sealed the whole lot in there. So then the absolute last piece to go in is the door, um, and I'm going to fit this basically exactly how it goes in. Uh, you could have it opened as wide as you wanted, or you can have it. Um, you can probably model it closed, but I'm going to go in with a bit of an angle to sort of see that it just you know, goes in there which is already proving to be quite fiddly but, uh, there we go and that is the greenhouse made so there we are that's how to put together the Ancorton double O gauge small um, greenhouse um, so what's required left with this now is probably another careful look of paint uh, around the brickwork and perhaps the door um, and then you know it, it's ready to be uh, used for demonstration purposes of this one uh, but it's a lovely build it's a little bit complicated um, but if you follow the instructions it goes together really really well uh, it is a really nice kit and produces a really nice greenhouse i imagine that the large greenhouse kit is very very similar um, given it's from the same manufacturer it's just a little bit longer so um, it will go together in exactly the same way as this one does so anyway i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to give us a thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because we've got plenty more how to build it videos on the way as well as obviously let you know when we have more and more stock coming into the shop so until next time happy modeling